Cause bless me this year Bless me this year My name is Boyz I know Baba bless me this year See I said I pray to you only oh, no, why bless me now I'm your uncle See my guys don't make me I want to feel Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Baba, you know money fit me. Tell all this so women don't free me. See my guys wanna feel me. But we are they don't know if you see me. Okay, um I'm from Abia State. Ababo original. <laughs> I know some people doubt whether I'm from Abia State. You know, some people say I'm from the Wari side, no this thing, but that's not true. I'm from Abia State. Ababo. Talking about how long I've been doing music, I can't really tell you. Honestly, I don't know. The thing is that I just grew up and I see myself doing music. Even when I was in primary school, I've already started singing in church. Honestly, my local church there in village, in primary school, I don't already become the praise and worship leader. <laughs> but if I must pick a date or a year that I started doing music, I would say. Um, 2010, 2010, yeah, because that's actually when I started to learn how to play piano, the keyboard, do you understand? And that's actually the time I got a lot, enough confidence. I don't know if you're getting my point, like when I'm holding the microphone, you can't tell me you are singing off. When I sound off, I know. So I gain more confidence. So that's if I must choose a day or a year. I would say 2010 I started doing music, so it's over 10 to 12 years now. Yeah. The journey in music, but I'm one of the small journey. The journey tough. <laughs> if anybody tell you that it is in music, man. It's not easy at all, it's not easy at all. So many challenges, especially when you don't have anybody up there. It's really hard. But the greatest challenge I've had in music is money. Yeah, money is the greatest challenge. Because I've been writing music for so many years. And I try to work on myself and I know I'm good. I know I'm good, I don't need to be told that I'm good. But how to finance? How to push it up there has just been the problem. So, in terms of writing music, doing all those things, there's no challenge, there's no difficult. But how to push it out, how to make people listen to what I do, it's just the only challenge, man. But by the grace of God, we are moving. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite artist in Nigeria. <laughs> okay, in terms of in terms of like impact, what you do, influence, and all those things, I'll choose Wizkid. But in terms of music, strictly music, the type of music you do or the type of music I love, I choose Kid Daniel. Yeah, Kid Daniel, Kid Daniel, Kid Daniel. Kizana is very good. I love him. But if you bless me this year, I yeah. go bless mommy. I hope see. Baba, you know say money fit me. Tell all this so women don't free me. See my guys wanna free me. But we are they don't know if you see me. Oh boy, you won't put me for trouble though. My worst artist. My worst artist. My worst artist. I will say. Naramali. Naramali because I just Naramali, forget it. Naramali. Speed. <laughs> no. Speed. 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 Speed.
to me. Speed Speed is not a musician. I love the guy, Akbe. I'm a big fan. I'm following him. I follow him on Instagram. But I just see him as an entertainer, a comedian. Do you understand? Even if you listen to his songs, you know that it's just comedy, it's just all about fun. He's not a musician. So I can't tell him tell you that he's my worst musician. He's not a musician as far as I'm concerned. He's not a musician, he's a comedian. So my worst musician. I am That song, Money Fit Me. Well, um, Money Fit Me wasn't just creativity, it was a story. Yeah. It was a true life story. That's just the truth. But if I tell you that Money Fit Me is my story, that means my story is too small. Oh boy, my story for streets is too long ago. <laughs> my story from streets is very, very long. So, and the truth is that I can be telling my story throughout my career and I will never get a boring track. They will all be a great motivation to the street because I saw many things. I had many, so many experiences in the street that I can share in all my songs till I end my career. Yeah, so Money Fit Me was just part of my story, a little part of my story. Out of the experience I had in the street, the feelings, like how I felt sometimes in the street, do you understand? So it's just a part of the story. It's not really my entire like conclusion of my story. No, it's just a little part of it. And I promise I'll be dropping my story <laughs> from time to time. And I say, guy who is in the street, you must understand that yeah, this guy really experienced things. Yeah, he experienced so many things. I've been in the street for many years, man, hustling and struggling, but. God is changing everything now. He's turning things around and we are getting better. So money fits me. It wasn't just a creativity. It was actually my story. It, just part of my story. And the story, I'm going to finish it gradually. Yeah. Um, okay. Ah. We are, I see myself in the next five years. Well, first of all, eh, I'm not in this music industry just to make money and fame. Yeah. To make money and fame is one of the major things I'm here, but that's not the only reason. And that's not even the main reason why I'm in the music industry. The main reason why I'm here is because I come from a hood where there are many talents, thousands of talents, but nobody cares. Nobody discovers them from year to year. Before you know it, these guys will turn to bike riders, pregnant girls, and start carrying family and forget the career. Yeah, I've seen many of them. Most of them, out of frustration, they will turn to drunkard, and before you know it, they will die. That's the type of place I come from. So I've been in this music, doing my best, struggling, striving hard to see, and I believe God that one day I will be on that level that I can save lives, I can save talent, I can push careers. Do you understand? Like those people that people don't want to notice, they have a, all it takes to be up there, but how to bring themselves out, how to push themselves, no money, nothing at all. Like even when I say, you know, now things are changing naturally. When you get a small Android phone, you can do things, post it online, people will see you. But I'm talking about a hood where people even find it difficult to have a Nokia touch, to even eat service problem. And that place, there are so many, so many talents, so many footballers, actors, actresses, musicians, plenty of things. So, in the next five years, I just want to be that guy that will maybe at the end of the year, I will just count like three, four to five lives that I changed. In year. When I'm talking about changing lives, I don't mean giving somebody. Uh, 500,000 naira, 200,000, no. 
I'm talking about picking up a talent, brush it up, and make the person a star. The whole world will celebrate the person, and the family will change for life. That's just my dream, and that's where I want to see myself in the next five years. And I believe that God will help me. Everything is possible. Um, what I will need to achieve this dream, man, is still the money and fame. Yeah, money and fame. When you have money, you have fame, it will be easy. When you have only money, you can push someone and take the person to the door, but it will be hard because you have to pay so many people, look for attention and all those things. But when you have the money and you have the fame, the things that money can do, you will do it immediately. The things that fame can do. Let me give you an example of what fame can do. Just imagine now you have money, you don't have fame. When you want to promote an artist or do something, you have to contact many people. Baba, do this one for me. I will pay you. Go to TV station, go to radio station, bloggers, all those things. But when you have fame, just like, uh, let me say, somebody like Don Jazzy now, want to promote an artist. There are many things he will do with money. But the most important thing is that his influence. You understand? Have somebody who is famous, just come online, maybe pick one of the person's freestyle, post it, and say, guys, I just discovered this guy and he's very good. Let's make him a star. Support him, share, repost, everything. Trust me, within 24 hours, the guy will already become a star. That's just the truth. So the fame and the money, they are both very important to achieve the goal. So I pray for money and fame. Yeah. What else can I do apart from music? Um, <laughs> I'm a comedian. Sorry, I was a comedian. <laughs> you know, you know, normally, eh? normally, when you are from poor family, when you are from a poor hood, um, you you must be a multi-talented nigga. <laughs> you understand? You will do many things. You will do many things. I remember back then in Ghana. I used to do comedy, yeah, stand-up comedy. I anchor programs like the official MC. Man, I don't do many things. So, and when I was very young, quite very young, I used to be a good footballer. I play like no man's business, no joke. I used to be a strong footballer, but now I don't even know if I can trap. But like if ball is coming, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> but, but now, like if not music, it will be comedy. Yeah, I'm good. I know I'm good. I even write jokes and give to people. Some of my friends who know me then as a comedian, I do write jokes and give them. We still communicate. Yeah. No. No, yeah, definitely, I'll get married one day. Yeah. Um, that one is no problem. I'll surely get married, but when the time comes, man, we'll talk about it. But for now, we are talking music, man. Let's build career first. Do you want to marry somebody speaking? and starve that person to death. You have to build some things. Forget all these motivational speakers who will tell you when you marry, the Bible said this, the Bible said that. We who marries find a good thing of any favor. Forget to, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. So I don't like to play that game. It's a 50-50 game. So I also at least gain some, get some certain things, put some certain things in order before talking about marriage. So for now, it's nothing like marriage in my dictionary. Um, my advice to upcoming artist. Number one, try to discover yourself. Know what you are good at. 
you understand and try to brush up yourself music you don't learn music i used to tell people you don't learn music you can't learn music music is not a trade that you can learn music is something that's already in you even before you are born so you have to discover it number one and not just discovering it find a way music is just like a raw good a raw good you don't create good you don't make good good is already there just all you need is dig bring out the good it is raw but for people to value it you need to refine light it need to pass through some process do you understand that process is your rehearsal learning classes do many things learn how to write how to arrange like how to sing, train your vocals. There are a lot of work to do. Just do all those things. Then get some friends. There are, you know, there are always friends that will tell you you are good. Anything you do, they will give you thumbs up. Yeah, you are good. This one is nice. But try and get some friends that will tell you the bitter truth. Man, this one is not good. Man, you fuck up. Guys, stop all this nonsense and focus on something good. Get those type of friends. They are good. Once you come up with something they listen to and they tell you it's good, then that is when you know that you are already there. You understand? Then you start pushing. And one thing I will tell upcoming artists about promotion is that there is no fixed price for promotion. Just do something nice. Do a very good music. Even if you have 100,000 naira, okay, just use your sense. Know where to put it, how to put it, share it. Don't put it in one place, just split it and do it the right way. There is no fixed price for promotion. Some people can promote with billions, millions, and all those things. What will be will be if you are destined to be up there, no matter how much you put it, God will use it to lift you up. It's just a matter of time. So, so stay focused. Work on yourself, be good, then don't give up, push constantly, any little thing you have, put it in, put it in your career, you will get there. Yeah. It's just grace. Yeah. Yeah, I have so many projects coming on and very very soon I will, I will be dropping another single and it will be a motivational song as well. Very strong one again, man. even stronger than Money Fit Me. Yeah. And after that I will be dropping Money Fit Me remix with J1. Yeah. We're making money, we're making money, we're making money this year. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for having me. My name is Saino, as you already know. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting this dream, this move. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. To all of you who share, who comment, who repost my music, who do videos on TikTok, God bless you. Please follow me on Instagram at Saino Official, Facebook, Saino. TikTok, Saino Official underscore. Twitter, Saino Official underscore. Thank you so much. I love you guys. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Saino. You know, say money feeds me. My guys don't make me, I want to feel a mongo Baba, the streets is so dark, I know we go alone no. But if you bless me this year, I go bless mommy, I hope see Baba, you know say money fit me Tell all this so we made them free me See my guys wanna feel me But we are they don't know if you see me Baba, you know say money fit me Tell all this so we made them free me See my guys wanna feel me But we are they them not feel see me Now who say God no go bless me Who say God no go hear me I'm on a wish that God no go bless me Oh you are hear me oh Wish that God no go hear me See fast and pray I do 
hustling with us.